The code blocking notion is a really useful tool when you want to show code, but it's also really useful when trying to format blocks of text. If you're interested, stick around and I'll tell you how. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. First, to create a code block, it's the same with any other block. You could go into the six dot menu, turn into, and then code block. Or you could use the slash command, type in code, and then select the code block. Or you could use the keyboard shortcut, control shift eight. Now when you have the code block, there's a couple of unique features to this block. You have the copy to clipboard, which will copy everything that's in that code block to your clipboard, so you can paste it elsewhere. And then you have the text style. So if we start typing some text in, something that's really exciting, and we copy that to clipboard, and then we paste that in, it's actually going to paste everything that we have in that code block as a text block. And it's just one text block, so you don't get lots of different blocks for each line. And then you can turn that back into code if you want to, but in this case, we don't actually need it. Now you can see some of these words are highlighted, and because the language is HTML, I've matched the language I've written the code in with the language of the code block. And I've done the same for the CSS code block, and to find any language, you can just use the search menu. So if I want to turn this into JavaScript, I can just search for JavaScript and now it's going to highlight the respective words. Now you can see here, I have four different blocks. You could have written the four different blocks or you could have copied and pasted from somewhere else. So maybe you've copied and pasted from Word and it's given you a load of different blocks for each line. Now, if you copy those blocks and you paste it into the code block, it actually puts it all into one block. This means that when you turn this code block into text, it's all in one block. So you can combine all of those different sentences and paragraphs that you've copied from Word or wherever it may be, and put it into one big block rather than having to combine them by backspacing, etc., for every single block. Now you may need to do a little bit of formatting to make it look exactly how you want, but it's much quicker than going backspace for every single block. Something else you can actually do with a code block is wrap the text. So if you're writing something, whether you are writing code or writing a sentence, and you want there to be a scroll bar for whatever reason, you can wrap the text so it's just a very small code block that you can scroll across through. When you drag a code block into a database, you can either drag it into a page to make it its own page, or you could drag it into a page to make the block part of the page. If you make it its own page, whatever is in the code block becomes the name of the page, and it actually automatically puts a language inside the table as an ID. So you can see the language was automatically put in as plain text. Then when you drag that back out, it's going to be a page, and then you can turn it back into a code block if you want it as a code block. And if you did want the code block just into the database, you can drag it in like you would any other block, and then that block is transferred into the page. If you're interested to see how you could use the code block to help you with formulas in Notion, check out this video over here, and I'll see you there.